NASA's plan is to build a base on the moon before sending humans to Mars to help reduce the complexity and duration of the Mars journey. SpaceX founder Elon Musk aims to lead the race to Mars, while Russian and European space agencies have also expressed interest in sending humans to the Red Planet. However, after landing in Mars's harsh atmosphere, how will humans survive there? This is the common question everyone is asking. Mars has always been a subject of fascination for scientists, space agencies, and dreamers alike. As Earth faces growing challenges, population increase, climate change, and resource depletion, the idea of expanding human civilization to other planets has gained momentum. The red planet, Mars, with its similarities to Earth, has become the most promising candidate for human colonization. But there's one major hurdle, oxygen. On Earth, we take oxygen for granted. We breathe it in with every breath, as our atmosphere is composed of about 21% oxygen. But on Mars, the atmosphere is only about 0.13% oxygen. So how will humans survive in such an environment? In today's video, we'll dive deep into the science, technology, and strategies that could allow humans to breathe on Mars. From extracting oxygen from the Martian atmosphere to terraforming the planet, we'll cover it all. Mars has an atmosphere, but it's vastly different from what we're used to on Earth. It's primarily composed of carbon dioxide, the CO2, about 95%, with only trace amounts of oxygen. The atmosphere is also incredibly thin, just about 1% the density of Earth's atmosphere, making it impossible to breathe without assistance. On Earth, we rely on plants and trees to convert carbon dioxide into oxygen through a process called photosynthesis. However, Mars lacks this natural oxygen production system. The air on Mars would suffocate an unprotected human within seconds. So, before we can even think about living on Mars, we need to solve the oxygen problem. One of the most significant challenges for a sustainable human presence on Mars is producing enough oxygen for breathing and potentially for rocket fuel. Oxygen will be needed not only for astronauts to breathe, but also for producing fuel to return to Earth. Transporting oxygen from Earth is impractical for long-term missions because of the enormous amount of space it would take up and the cost involved. So, how do we create oxygen on Mars? Scientists and engineers are working on several exciting solutions. One of the most promising technologies for producing oxygen on Mars is NASA's MOXIE, Mars Oxygen In-Situ Resource Utilization Experiment. MOXIE is part of the Perseverance rover mission, and it's designed to demonstrate that we can produce oxygen on Mars using resources already available there. MOXIE works by taking in carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere and splitting it into oxygen and carbon monoxide. The oxygen can be stored and used for breathing or fuel, while the carbon monoxide is released back into the atmosphere. Though MOXIE is currently only a small-scale experiment, it's a critical first step in developing larger systems that could support a human colony on Mars. Another potential solution for producing oxygen on Mars is through electrolysis, which involves splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity. There is evidence that water exists on Mars in the form of ice, particularly at the poles and beneath the surface. If we can mine this water, it could be split into oxygen for humans to breathe and hydrogen for fuel. The challenge, however, is finding, mining, and purifying enough water to make electrolysis viable. Additionally, this process requires a reliable source of electricity, which would likely come from solar panels, nuclear power, or other renewable energy sources. This method could potentially create large quantities of oxygen but it's still in the experimental phase. In the long run, one of the most ambitious ideas is terraforming Mars, altering the planet's environment to make it more Earth-like. Terraforming could potentially involve heating up the planet, thickening its atmosphere, and creating conditions that allow plants and algae to thrive and produce oxygen naturally. While this idea has been popularized in science fiction, it would require massive technological advancements and possibly centuries to achieve. Some scientists believe that releasing greenhouse gases into Mars' atmosphere could help trap heat and kickstart a warming process, 
while others suggest introducing genetically engineered organisms that could survive in the harsh conditions and begin producing oxygen. Terraforming Mars is still in the realm of theoretical science, but it's worth exploring as a potential long-term solution for making Mars more hospitable to humans. In the short term, before large-scale oxygen production or terraforming becomes possible, astronauts will rely on portable life support systems. These systems will be integrated into spacesuits and habitats, similar to what we currently use on the International Space Station ISS. Modern spacesuits come equipped with oxygen tanks and systems that recycle exhaled carbon dioxide. On Mars, astronauts would wear similar suits when outside their habitats. Inside their habitats, oxygen could be produced by MOXIE-like systems or through electrolysis, ensuring a breathable environment. However, these systems will need to be highly reliable, as a failure in oxygen production could be fatal. One of the most exciting avenues of research is using biological organisms, such as algae and bacteria, to produce oxygen on Mars. These organisms could be grown in controlled environments, using carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere and sunlight to produce oxygen through photosynthesis. Algae, in particular, is being studied for its potential to thrive in low light and extreme conditions. There are several challenges to overcome, such as creating the right conditions for algae or bacteria to grow and ensuring that they can produce enough oxygen to support human life. However, biological oxygen production could provide a sustainable and self-replicating solution for oxygen needs on Mars. One of the key challenges in producing oxygen on Mars is finding a reliable source of energy. Solar panels are a popular option, but Mars's distance from the sun and frequent dust storms make solar energy less reliable than on Earth. As a result, many experts believe that nuclear power will be essential for sustaining a human presence on Mars. Nuclear reactors could provide a consistent and powerful energy source for running electrolysis machines, MOXIE-like systems, and other oxygen production technologies. NASA has been developing small portable nuclear reactors for use on Mars, which could provide the energy needed to keep oxygen production systems running smoothly. The journey to Mars is no longer a distant dream. It's rapidly becoming a reality. But before humans can set foot on the red planet, we must solve one of the most fundamental challenges, producing oxygen. Whether through MOXIE, electrolysis, biological systems, or even terraforming, the key to human survival on Mars lies in our ability to create breathable air. As space agencies and private companies like SpaceX push forward with their plans for Mars exploration, the technology to produce oxygen will play a crucial role in turning Mars into a livable planet. While we're still in the early stages of this endeavor, the future looks promising. The next time you look up at the night sky and see Mars, remember that it's not just a distant, barren world, it could one day be home to humans, breathing air that we created.